Oh, you see, so make all ones and free working you back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In the last episode, we made our way up to the Great Fairy, got ourselves some magic and a great spin attack, and started our way here to Zora's Domain to start buying beans. The magical beans. <laughs> I'm not going into that. Okay, and also we started off the frog mi uh, mini side quest as well that we can't do, f we can't finish off for a while. So, in this episode, we're actually heading up to Zoro's Domain. Zora's Domain, not Zoro's. Stabby. Stabby, stabby! Let's just say a stab and a half. Anybody know about that? You're awesome. Okay. Oh, crap. It's becoming daytime. I actually want it to be nighttime. Because there's another gold scuttle we could get. Oh crap, hold on, can't see anything. Okay, now I can see. Okay, yeah, I want it to be nighttime, so. <coughs> and there's the answer why. Gold Scotola! I just realized we're at a Deku Nuts. No! Oh, whoops. I set the thing up, but I didn't set I didn't highlight the stupid thing. 18. There we go. <laughs> we're almost at 20 to get us the next reward, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh by the way, this here is a shortcut back uh, to Zora's domain and from Zora's domain to the Lost Woods. But we can't really go down there just yet. We're lacking something. I know. Let's go. The waterfall actually only stays open for a temporary amount of time. <laughs> okay, we are here now at Zora's Domain. Now, before we actually go and see the main guy we have to go and talk to, there's no point to, we're going to do something up above. Which is where the main guy is, actually. <laughs> God damn, I derped. Yeah, that's him, but we're ignoring him. Which this you come into my room and to my domain and you don't even say hi? Where do I want this guy? A diamond gives 20 rubies. Let's go. Pick up the, all the rupees I throw from here and you only have a limited time. When you pick them all up, come back up here and I'll give you something very nice. I better not be the creepy nice. <laughs> okay, we gotta collect these five blue rupees within the time limit. Start! Yes, you actually have to do this. There is no choice on the matter. This is a required mini game. You can't do it, then I'm sorry, you are never uh, getting through this game. But seriously, how can you not do this? This is easy. And if I just offended people who could have never been able to beat this mini game, I'm sorry. But yeah, we actually need what this guy is going to give us. So, I'll meet you back up there. Speedy! Bro, what a graceful dive! Now, please take this. It's the scale from our, of our kind. With this, you'll be able to dive much deeper under the water. We got a silver scale. We can now dive deeper than ever before. Yep, <coughs> we can only dive for about three seconds before, but now, thanks to the scale, we can dive up to six seconds. Which, as you can tell, we went beyond three, so we needed it to get through here. We are now at Lake Hylia. We are all the way down here when we were just over here. So as you can see, there's a shortcut from Zora's Domain to here at Lake Hylia. And you can also go back by going through that hole right there. Now what we want is this. We 
got an empty bottle. What? Something's already inside. That's right, we got ourselves an empty bottle with something already in there. So that's, it's not for us, but I do believe we can read it. So, I guess I'll, I'll have a look. It looks like there's something, uh, something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Ruta. P.S. Don't tell my father. Okay, I actually have a question about that, because I'm going to be honest, Ruto de uh, denies that she ever sent a letter in a bottle. But, yeah, I, this guy will actually come in handy for us later, so I'm going to ignore him for now, though. So what we're going to do now is head over here, since we are here. This could be a great source of uh, fun or very, very annoying. I might do speed up montage of this. The fishing pond. Well, you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Sure. Thank you kindly. Here's your rod and law, young man. Mind the rules we have and have yourself a good time. Okay, listen up. I walk into the water's edge. Press L to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B and A to break. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with a joystick. If you're if you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A, hold down A and R to reel it in faster. Wait, you use the R to reel it faster? What? Yes, I honestly didn't know that. I've always just like held the fishing rod the line back by the joystick and held A. I didn't know you could use R. <laughs> what? I guess I just never read it. That might be something they added for the 3D version that wasn't in Ocarina of Time for the N64. Okay, now we are going to try and catch a certain fish, which is the biggest fish in the pond, if memory serves me correct. He's actually... Right there. Uh, no, not him. I think it's the one... Right over here. This guy. Yeah. Now, the, the best way to actually catch the fish as quickly as po possible is actually try to lure him as close as possible and try to get his attention. Come on. Damn it! Yeah, try to get as close as possible. This might seem like cheating, but it's actually a viable tactic. Blip, 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 Okay, I'll see you when he actually bites. Whee! That was it. That was actually the real faster. I pressed R and pressed A. Wow, did it rock it right back to me. I didn't know about that. Come on, follow me all the way home, big boy. You want this. You want this. You want this! Ah, I'm holding R! I'm holding R! Ah, get back here! Okay, and also one of the other tips is try to hold the joystick in the opposite direction the fish is facing. If you put it in the same direction it's facing, it will escape. No. Get back. Get to me. Every time he jumps out the water as well, he actually gets a little further away, which is so annoying. No, no, no. Get over here. I'm holding R. I'm holding R. Man, he's getting further away. Get over here. Come on! Ah! Speed up! Clowny music! I don't know! I 
I will not let you escape! Damn it, losing my grip on my joystick. Come on, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Come in, come in. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. No, it's almost here. I got it! <laughs> oh. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna pause the video right there. The reason why is because you, uh, is that I wanted to explain this, that I was actually going to speed up that entire fishing segment right there where I was trying to catch the fish, but I decided not to uh, show what it was like when you're trying to catch the whole fish if you never tried before at the, uh, the full time, basically. So, it was still funny enough of the way out of my reactions, but I figured I'd show you guys a quick clip about 10 seconds of what, what it was about what the speed ups would sound like because when I was doing the editing for this it was kind of funny and, and I had no idea what the hell I was saying so I'll let you listen to this clip As you could tell, I sounded absolutely fucking ridiculous, and I laughed again. So yeah, that's what it was like. Hope you guys enjoyed that bit. Back to the video! Oh my god, wow, this is a real hunker. 11 pounds! Keep it? Yes. What, Navi? I wonder if Sari knows anything about this other spiritual stone. Okay, I guess that's your little tip to where you're supposed to go next. You, like, talk to Saria with the ocarina. By playing the... Her playing her song. Whew, that was actually kind of a tense. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> okay, the reason why I picked that fish is because if you see this fish, it's the biggest fish ever caught. Six pounds. You actually have to beat that record. Wait, my fish. Whoa. This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. At least 11 pounds. Seriously? Okay, here's your prize. We got a piece of heart. Got to mark it. And ten. Okay, uh, I want to quit. Come back when you get older, the fish will be bigger too. Well, maybe. Yeah, that there is actually a hint to return later on in the game. Because you can get something else from him later on. Which is actually, this one is optional, but I would recommend it if you go for 100%. Okay, now that we're done with that... Uh, I don't think I have enough rupees, actually, so I'm going to avoid it. There's actually another piece of heart just down that way there. But I think you need to buy it for 100 rupees, and we don't have 100 rupees. So, back to Zora's Domain! Ah, the nice song of Zoro's Domain. It almost makes me think on how annoying that fish was. <laughs> okay, speaking of fish, this is actually something we want to do. We will be ending off this episode before we're about to hit off into Jabu Jalu, uh, into the next dungeon of Jabu Jabu. Now, what we want is the sticks. Because we are going to do this. We're gonna want to move quickly though. Okay, get a quick refresh. Next flame. I almost went to the left, which would have led me right off the cliff. Cliff. Okay, burn that. Uh, let's cut. Once again, quick refill of a brand new flame. I have to say, it'd be nice if I could actually see where I was going. Now, we actually want to go over here behind the waterfall. Be careful, otherwise you'll go into the water or it'll touch the waterfall. No! Oh, man, I barely made it. Well, I barely missed it. I technically didn't make it. Eh. What the fuck? Ah, damn it. Ah! 
Round two of this. Come on. I can do it. We can do it. Okay. I'm just going to move quickly. Don't roll in the water for obvious reasons. Oh, that's why I didn't make it. No. I'm hitting X. Okay. Now we're solid. And boom. What? I missed something. Did I miss something? God damn it. Hold on. One sec. Okay, guys. We're going to have a quick bit of a speed up because I feel confused. Oh, no. I know what I've done wrong. Okay. Uh, I know what I've done wrong, guys. What you need to do is actually light the whole thing in one go. Those other ones that don't stay lit, they've got to become lit. Oh my god, get fire! They've all got to be on fire at the exact same time, so you can't dilly-dally. I've always managed to do this in the first try, so I've never really no I've never really noticed. Okay, uh, run by the fish. Do this. Okay, we should make it this time. Fire! Fire! Which gives us... A piece of religion! Yeah! Alright then, with hard piece number 11 now under our belt, do we have a spare bottle? Yes we do, because we need one! Because we need to... Catch a fish! I said catch a fish! Da -da! I guess I won't be able to record more than two. Because I need to... Because the dungeon is next. Okay then, now that we've caught the fish and we've done that, now we're going to go and talk to King Zora. Or the... Or King of the Zoras. Hey bro! I have something for you, even though it says to not tell you. Here you go. Oh, this letter's from the Princess Ruto? Hmm, let's see, she's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god Lord Jabu Jabu would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since our stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu's been a little green around the gills. <laughs> the evidence seems clear, of course. You can go and find Ruto. You can pass through here. To the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. Keep, I'll keep the letter. You keep the bottle. As was in, take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. And I will see you guys in 100 years. Oh my god, I'm surprised I don't have a beard. In game, in real life, I've already started. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Outswords! And there he is Zora's Fountain, that's Lord Jabu Jabu. Now, we actually have one more thing I want to do before we can even consider going inside there, because this is actually an extremely useful item that I sort of would recommend you get before moving forward, as well as the fact we're about to get another Gold Scotula. I cannot see my screen. Now I can see. Sorry, just bringing up the thing to do the counter for Gold Scotula so I can hit the screen! Nineteen. Okay then, next, bomb this. Oh my god. As for this boulder, this will actually be useful for us much later in the game. For another gold sculpture. <laughs> Great fairies fountain once more. <laughs> 
Welcome, Happy Maker. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> We've received Faroz Wind. This is a warp magic. You can use it inside dungeons. Once used to create a warp point, you can use it again to return there. Remember, you can use for all wings only inside dungeons, okay? And battles made you weary. Yeah, this is why I said it would be useful, because inside Jabu Jabu, I'm going to be honest, we'll be going back to a certain po location of the map, like maybe four times. So this is why I said that getting this would be very handy, because it would save you a lot of time. You'll understand once we actually get to the, uh, go inside Jabu Jabu, which will be next episode. I just realised we got no more Deku seeds, or Deku nuts, so I can't use, use my usual ninja outro. Damn it! So yeah, that will actually do it for this episode, guys. We've done quite a bit. Hope you guys have all enjoyed, and in the next episode, we're going to give this big lug a fish, and we are probably going to be eaten as well. Okay then. Wait, hold on. I must... God damn it! Must... No! Is that Deku nuts? Nuts! Nuts! Damn it, just seeds. <laughs> Okay, I failed. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Bam!